Hello. <clears throat> These are all CDs I got yesterday, but uh, I didn't open most of them until late last night. Um, the only one I have not yet opened at all is Alien by North Lane. This is the standard edition. It was released in 2019. Um, the shrink wrap is still like mostly perfect on it. And I have a digital download of the deluxe version, so I don't need to open this. Um, the only like markings are like where the price sticker used to be. And um, it's harder to notice on this one, but there is a circular mark where a clearance sticker used to be as well. But yeah, North Lane, really North Lane, Alien by North Lane, really good album. Um, I haven't listened to the instrumentals yet, but I did listen to the like main album, main version. But I really like the cover. It's nice and abstract. The high res cover that you can download from iTunes really shows the detail a lot more. It's really cool. Um, the rest of these were mostly pretty much sealed um except for the cold play one this uh i got this pre-owned from half price books for 5.99 they had a copy for 5.49 as well but that one had like significantly more wear on it and the disc the disc looked a little bit more a little bit more uh used i guess um some more 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 scuffs and whatnot on it. This one is mostly okay. Um, in the right light, you can kind of tell there's some slight scuffage, but it's like mostly as good as you can get. I mean, if you got it brand new, it would be like way better. But and that was what I was originally going to do. I was going to. I I, I always said to myself if I do get this album, which I really did what want to do and was planning on for a long time. I was going to get it completely brand new sealed so I could unbox it and have that experience. But half price books had a couple copies and I was like, I've got the money. I'll just, I'll just buy it now. And even though it's used and I'll be able to, <clears throat> um, uh, I'll, I'll get a brand new sealed one later. Um, this one will save me some money. So now I have this, this is off my wish list. Um, so I got this one, um, Interpol, a fine mess. For some reason I thought, uh, I, I had, I think I had listened to this before and I should have known that there were five tracks. But when I saw the physical CD, I saw the back and was like, wait, is this only two tracks? Um, but no, these are lines from the title track, Fine Mess. And the actual song titles are on the front, but they were um, blocked by the price sticker. And so I didn't realize until I, I took it out of its... I would have kept the resealable... Um, slip that this was in but it had the price sticker on it it had the clearance sticker on it it was like just like messed up i didn't i, I it wasn't worth holding on to but i'll probably try and find another resealable sleeve that i can stick this in this is cool because it like reminds me exactly of a like of a vinyl record it's pretty much like a mini jacket and then the disc itself is in an inner sleeve The CD itself has like what looks like fingerprints on it, like as if someone had been taking it out and hadn't hadn't gotten their their they hadn't cleaned their hands properly. It also kind of reminds me of not the actual events by Nine Inch Nails. Um, really good EP as well. Oh yeah, but I was gonna say this disc the this sleeve. Um, 
the way the this inner bit kind of comes through the opening, it reminds me of a five and a quarter inch floppy disk. And the the cutout doesn't really do anything, but it like looks it kind of makes it look more like a but yeah, this is this is a good EP. I like it. This was the other one that I got from Half Price Books. It was sealed. It was on clearance for three bucks. Um, I had no idea what it was. It's uh, that's the artist, and that's the album title. It ju I just really liked the abstract kind of color aesthetics of it. Inside's got some photography of a of a of a home studio. It looks like neat. Not a super long album, but like pretty good. I mean, it is only eight tracks, so it's like not like a super full length. It's it's a short full length album. I think, or a long EP, but yeah, I like, I like the, the aesthetic of it. And so I thought I'd give it a go. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to JP, Chrissy and the fair, but ground boys. Um, this is Chrissy hind or hind or however you pronounce that from, uh, the pretenders, I think. And, um, this seems like a very, very like indie project. Um, Rocket Science Ventures, Red Distribution. I had no idea what this was either, but it was a uh, dollar ninety nine and seventy five percent off of that, so it was like fifty cents. I got this with a couple of um, singles I I found in the bargain bin. Some interesting spooky clowns. The one thing I didn't like about this was that the disc was um, kind of wedged into these into these tabs. It was like sitting over the top. And it's a real like pain to get back in there, which why I wasn't able to. Um, these fold out and show some cool artwork underneath. That's pretty neat. It's like a carnival ride there. The, those those big swings that spin around, and then there's some stuff there or a, a photo. Um, there's the insert which was in the side pocket, which was in the side pocket here. But um, because the disc itself, it's really hard to get it back in the in the thing. And I don't want to take the risk of scuffing the, the disc. So I just, I tucked it into the insert and put the insert um, behind the tab so that it would be like in place. There's lyrics inside. And then a nice like panoramic going all the way. Really cool sort of indie rock thing. Put that back in there. This kind of reminds me of uh, In Rainbows by Radiohead, which um, the, the CD edition of that, except um, instead of like folding out um, like, a, like a digipack does normally, it just like opens up from the back and then the tabs all come out the sides. So it reminds me of like, this part where the things it opens up but um yeah 
pretty cool. I got a couple of Bonnie Vare uh, albums. This is 22 a million. A couple of inner tab or inner flaps. Disc. This side. Nice disc design. Six, seven, eight. Six, 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 twenty one, eight, nine, ten, forty five, a million. Some sort of numerology thing going on here. Don't know exactly what that's all about. I'll have to like look into it or something. Look it up online. Disc is in okay shape. Little bit of can't really get really can't seem to get CDs um, in digi packs or digi sleeves without them being at least slightly scuffed. Even brand new. There's a booklet with some symbols. This shade of yellow reminds me of like notebook, um, like clipboard notebook pads, paper pads, or something that you'd use in a type in a typewriter. Some handwriting going on in there. That's kind of a neat thing. Have that as a user picture, a user profile picture, or like get it printed on a t-shirt with no text, no context. And like, that would be like just on a, that would be pretty cool. Like on a black t-shirt, get that printed in white or red. And then people would like wonder what, what it was. Probably. I would do that actually. I would I would like get something custom printed on on that. If I could like scan get that scanned. I should do that. Like if I ever if I if I get a next time I get a custom printed shirt. Which I've only done like once maybe. And it was ages ago. Pretty good booklet, lyrics and everything. Friendship is for safekeeping. Jag Jaguar is the label, I think. And then uh, this one uh, this is I.I., I think. This uh, can get a little stuck in the thing. There's some glossy printing along the side there as well. Back, really cool photo. This one's mostly glossy with a little bit of matte. Some photos of people. Printing kind of goes like all the way around in a circular thing. It was, it was hard to tell like which side was 
up, but you can see the text under it. You can see it actually, you can actually see it a little better on camera than you can with a naked eye, unless you like hold it at just the right angle, but Bonnie Bear, Jag Jaguar, cool, cool. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of scuffage on it. Not something I not something I like seeing, especially on brand new CDs. Because you're buying a brand new CD, it shouldn't come damaged. But uh, manufacture manufacturing is kind of. I guess it's kind of hard to avoid sometimes. Is a uh, another booklet. I think the the card itself, the paper this is printed on, is a bit thicker too. Some dark printing on or already dark paper. Yes, you need to be there to plant a garden. That's an interesting image. I like kind of how abstract all of this is. Some uh, production info and what might be lyrics. <laughs> That's not easy to see at all. Yeah, this is the, this looks to be the, uh, yeah, that's, that just looks really neat. I like that. And yeah, the Virtual Fighter 4 soundtrack. I got this for like, this was literally the cheapest CD I picked up yesterday. Um, the price sticker said 88 cents. And it was 75% off of that. So this was like less than 25 cents in total. Or maybe 25 cents. Um, tax Sales tax seems to have gone up a tiny bit. But, um, Tokyo Pop soundtracks, track list there. This is from 2002, Sega AM2 mix. Disc itself looks a little bit plain, just white with black text. But there's some good photos. Disc is just about flawless. There's like one tiny speck on it. That just might be a little tiny dust particle. Another little insert for like what's also available. Or what was also available at the time. Being this this CD being from 2002, who knows if uh, you can still get these anywhere? 
a lot of Final Fantasy, Sounds of Onimusha, Sonic Adventure 2, Resident Evil, Trigun, Vampire Princess Miyu, Bubblegum Crisis. Those are some classic anime uh, series or things that I had heard of, but don't believe I seen very much of. Uh, this is um, the peculiarity of Virtual Fighter allows you to have the feeling of pain when you are beat. All of the VF series have this kind of sensation of feeling pain. Okay. But, yeah, there's a like a thing and this is all like November 2001. These uh, song creator Virtual Fighter 4 credits, Tokyo Pop Staff. But yeah, there's this sideline of, of, of photos or of uh, images of the characters. I haven't played a ton of Virtual Fighter. Um, but maybe I can seek out uh, some method of playing these. Hypnotized Essential 45s. B side is Make Me Surrender. Uh, the B side like is kind of like not quite as good of quality as the as the as the um, main track, the title, but um, then again, it is some like old audio. It was, I guess, probably originally released as a forty-five, and they've remastered or restored or whatever it whatever it is. This is only two tracks. This was also. Uh, 50 cents and um, the one thing I kind of don't like about this one is like it's a CDR ooh and the um, the uh, that doesn't look the disc itself looks a little bit a little bit too worn for my liking but the it's only two tracks and they're right there like near the center so it's it, it when i when i ripped it earlier it was fine um but yeah this isn't a very high budget production the uh insert shows what's also available And for some reason, this insert is a little bit tricky to get back into the thing. It fits a little bit too tightly. This reminds me of like those Create Space CDs that I've gotten a couple of over time. Um, being on a CDR and the printing being kind of generic, but it was super cheap and interesting, so it was okay. And then this is the other thing, last thing I got um, that was fifty cents. Um, the single for I I I from Cody Simpson featuring Flo Rida. And it's got um, the one with the feature on it, the version, like the studio version without the feature, and then the B a B-side Summertime. Um, the For You EP, which was like also around this time, 2010, um, has the feature, has this, this, this version of the song with the feature on it. And then it has an acoustic version. Um, so that was pretty neat. So this version seems to be exclusive to this single. Maybe. Um, 
but this is an old relic. It's a piece of history. Cody Simpson is still doing stuff um, now um, or was recently, but he's also an athletic. Um, I guess he's a like professional swimmer or something. And uh, so that's interesting to know. But yeah, this was kind of fun. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably open this eventually. It's just right now I want to keep it sealed and stock because I don't need to have it open. So I have the digital of the. But that these were some CDs that I got yesterday from Half Price Books and um, FYE, mostly from FYE, from their 75% off clearance sale. Um, that's about it for now. Um, this will be on my main channel, Ereas Burwell. Um, my main right now, I've got other main channels that I haven't used in forever and 48 fifths. But anywho, um, yeah, I did mention these briefly yesterday after I got them on my other channel, K-T-H-E-S-Q-U-E, which on YouTube is a mirror of my TikTok content. Um, I upload, I'm, I'm, I, I, got, I got this new phone and so I'm like, I somehow got TikTok again, and so I'm back on TikTok under uh, the handle Fesk, K spelled with a K. The K is silent, but it's uh, K T H E S Q U E. And um, my TikTok is where I upload those, and then the YouTube channel under the same name is where I uh, mirror those those videos. Um, but this is a longer video. This will be on my Arias Borwell channel. But feel free to check out the TikTok if you want. Um, you don't have to. It's just like random bits and pieces of whatever. Um, I think you can upload videos up to 10 minutes now. But I don't know if you have to like qualify in a certain way to be able to do that. Um, I didn't see the option. On, like I think the longest I can upload at the moment is like three minutes. But... I'll look into that further and see what's what's going on, and then, and then um, that other channel might have like longer videos on it. But um, for the time being, they're going to be like up to three minutes um, per TikTok limitations. So yeah, this video right here is twenty eight minutes already. So I got to get going. So I will see you later. Bye.